What's up team? Jared here and I am out at the range shooting and as you can probably tell it is a little bit windy today and so I thought I'd just take a, this opportunity to share with you guys a couple of tips and tricks and, and strategies for shooting in the wind. Now the first thing I want to talk about when, we, when it comes to shooting in the wind is timing because timing is everything and depending on the timing of when you shoot the wind can be different. Almost never is the wind consistent and from a single direction. Uh, at the moment, at the range I'm at at the moment, it's kind of swirling around, it's changing from um, like a, a southwesterly through to a sort of like a, a southeasterly, it's really swinging around. And so depending on that, the time that I shoot, the aiming point is very, very different. The other next point is the timing of the sh shot and the, sh uh, and the shot tempo. Because when you pick your aiming point in the wind and you're, and you're shooting, um, if you hold too long and you start to get in a wrestling match with the bow, it's a downhill slope from there. So if you start to um, try and hold and try and aim and fight the wind, then as, as you're aiming, let me try and do it this way. As you're aiming, you know, the wind's gonna blow you this way and then you're gonna push back and the wind's gonna drop and then it's gonna go this way. And you're just gonna get into this wrestling match with the bow and you're gonna lose. Okay, so the next thing is how to read the wind. Now, everyone looks at the flag, as you can see there, right? However, the flag can be very misleading. It only tells you the wind direction at one point in time, at one place. Okay, so if the flag is moving in that direction here, it doesn't tell you the speed of the wind, only the direction, and only at the point in the target. The arrow is already here. It's the place between you and the target where you need to gauge the wind. So I would say that the flag itself is only probably about 10% of how to gauge the wind. So the question you're gonna ask is, what's the other 90%? I would say a good chunk of that 90% comes down to situational awareness. Looking around, reading the trees, you can see the trees moving in the wind. Okay, and that gives you not only an indication of the direction, but also, if you listen and use all your senses, you can tell when a gust is coming and you can time your shot to be between gusts and make sure that you don't get caught when a gust hits you. Um, the other things to look out for are the flags along the, the, the range. Just, uh, yeah, listening for the sounds. There may be a windsock or other things around you which you can use to gauge. Um, yeah, so just situational awareness, looking around and getting a feeling for it, as well as reading the wind on your body. The main impact that the wind has on your shots is not necessarily on the arrow itself, but it's on you. Because if at the moment of release, the wind's blowing you one direction and it breaks at that moment, you're going to steer the arrow with the wind as well. So that's a huge impact. Now, the other tip for shooting in the wind, guys, is to pick your aiming point ahead of time. Know where your aiming point is, commit to it, and try and hit it. There's no point aiming off in the eight, but looking in the yellow. Your body will subconsciously steer the sight back into the yellow, and so uh, then you'll, you'll end up aiming off in the, say, the right hand red, but then you'll steer it across into, into the other side red. Okay, so you need to pick your point, you need to be quite aggressive in your shot, you need to push towards your aiming point, extend all the way through the break of the release, and that's how you do it. And the other thing is, is you may need to open up your aiming focus. Rather than trying to drill tens, yellows are okay, um, especially if it's very, very windy. So there you go, guys, there's a few, few trips. I'd love to hear your strategies for how you shoot in the wind. This is an outdoor sport, right? So um, I'm gonna leave you with one final thought, and this is probably the most important one, is that don't practice only in good conditions. If you shoot uh, only when it's perfect, which many people do, and then you go to a competition, and lo and behold, it's windy, um, if, you, if you notice this, next time you go to a shoot, listen to the talk that's happening around you. Someone's saying, oh, it's too cold, it's too hot, it's too windy, too humid, <laughs> whatever it is, someone's complaining about the weather conditions. They're out of your control. That's the wrong attitude. And so a good philosophy to have is that when you're going to practice, if a competition would be on, training is on. So if a competition's canceled through to, due to rain or lightning or whatever, fair enough, stay at home and do SBT. But if it's just a bit wet, 
if it's a bit cold, if it's a bit humid, if it's um, you know a bit windy, get out there because you need the experience uh, and that's going to help your confidence immensely. So when you step up onto the shooting line in a tournament when you really need to bust it out, you're going to have the confidence to execute and to take it home. There you go, guys. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I'd love to hear your strategies. Uh, any of these helpful? Do you disagree, agree? Um, and let's have a chat. See you later.